Welcome back everybody in today's video we'll be taking a look at Joey Surreal camera as he has a little bit of a meltdown I would say a little bit of a Karen temper tantrum as he got two tickets in two days obviously the guy can't follow the law he can't follow the law of the road so it's just bound to happen that he will get multiple tickets and yeah his little meltdown was pretty sad before we get into that, make sure to check out my second channel, Josh Prime 2, where I also roast criminals, but these criminals don't pretend to be journalists. The link is in the description. With that out of the way, enjoy the video. Okay, folks, I was cop watching. I just pulled out of a shopping plaza. See that sign right there on the left? Well, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did not see that U-turn sign. You cannot make U-turns at this red light right here. But of course, look, we all make mistakes in life, right? And we all learn from them. At least I do. Well, also, for some reason, I thought I can get away with this. But apparently, I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. And it wasn't only one violation. It was two of them. And I'm going to admit my wrongs on this one. I'm going to take it like a man and admit it, wipe it off, and make sure it don't happen again. Stay tuned, guys. Keep watching. <laughs> So this guy is such a dummy. Not only was he not allowed to do a U-turn there, but he did it on a red light. Obviously, you can turn right if you're at a red light and there's no incoming traffic, but that doesn't mean you can do a U-turn. Anyways, this guy is just beyond stupid. All right, I got you, bro. So at the light up ahead, you made that illegal U-turn because it says no U-turn. Hold on, guys, two seconds. And on top of that, what's, you... What's your name and badge number? We don't get all that. You can't give it to me right now? My name is Officer Monsieur with Pine Crest PD. All right, no problem. Can you get your driver's license? So where did you see me do the U-turn at, right there? At that light right there? Yeah, the light right there. So it was the illegal U-turn? Yes, it said no U-turn and it had a red light. Oh, it so said no U-turn. It had a U-turn. I didn't see the, I didn't see that, I ain't gonna lie. And it was a red light. Okay, yeah, okay. Light. All right, all right, no problem. Right, no man. problem, go do your thing. All right, all right. Did I take, did I do that? Hold on, because I didn't see no sign. So I might be on the wrong, it's okay. <clears throat> I got it on film, so I'll go back and check it out. So listen, I'm gonna go back and check that sign. You go, you're gonna receive a citation for violation of a traffic control device, which is basically how many violation. how many tickets? No, it's just one. This is what? basically the rundown of your license. Yeah, I got it, I got it. It's just a rundown of basically uh how much it'll be, where if you need to pay it online, anything if you want to set it up for court. How much is it? So it's a moving violation 179, all right? Damn, Damn. bro, you're taking my rent my money like that. Well, technically you did two things. You did on a red <laughs> light and it was a no U-turn. But look, it's just one citation. All right. I notated the two things you did in there. So it's just one citation versus getting two separate. All well, right, two man. separate violations. All you right, gotta all be right. careful, all right? All right, no problem, bro. All right, man, look. You have a safe night. You have a good night too. All right. I, I, I was wrong. No, no, you're I good. Wrong. Look, hey. I'm just making sure. You're treating me good, man. You're treating uh, me. You, you did your job. I, I was on the wrong. All right, just be careful, man. All right, brother. Take it easy, man. All right. I, I did see that red light. <sighs> All right, guys. So you know what? You guys experienced. So this time he took it pretty decent. He didn't have too much of a temper tantrum. But on the next ticket, which I believe was the very next day, things were very different. I guess maybe he woke up in a Karen mood and he didn't take it on the chin like he did right now. Okay, folks, I'm stopping the video real quick right there for you guys. As soon as I walked outside to take my smoke break, there he is. Officer Mr. Cocky Fernandez, badge number 369, decided to retaliate on me and pull a slick retaliation move on me on a parking ticket, which this street right here where I'm parked at actually is a residential neighborhood. 
okay? People park there all the time, you know, facing the house, you know, facing towards traffic, uh, against the flow of traffic. But this time I pulled in and I am going to admit, I'm going to admit my wrong on this. I was illegally parked. I admit that. Before you guys start tripping on the comments, you were wrong, you were this, I'm admitting it right now. Yes, it was petty and it is petty and I know why he's doing it, just for retaliation. So, if you guys are wondering what happened to my car right there, uh, just a few days ago, um, I smashed somebody from the back. Uh, don't text and drive, ladies and gentlemen, don't text and drive, I will admit my wrongs on that one too. So, I just don't like this man, I don't like... So first he does an illegal U-turn, he admits his wrong. Then he crashes his car and damages someone else's vehicle because he was texting and driving, he admits his wrong. Now he's parking illegally and he admits his wrong, although he's blaming the officer. Dude, I understand you're admitting you're wrong, but at what point are you going to change your behavior and get out of that criminal mentality? His demeanor, I don't like the way he looks at me. I don't like the way he walks. I don't like the way he stands. I don't like his haircut. I don't like his glasses. I don't like his watch. I just don't like this man, not one bit. So I decided to go and exercise my First Amendment right and destroying him while he's giving me the ticket and me playing it off like defending myself like if he was on the wrong. Let's just watch, guys. You guys are going to enjoy it and I'm still going to expose this. It's about transparency. Let's get to it and let's finish the video and enjoy. See you in the end. Oh, one more thing. In the end, the lieutenant puts the cherry on the whipped cream on this video. Now let's get to it. Look at this guy. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Who are you? What are you doing? I'm siding a vehicle for parking. Wait, what do you mean? This isn't your property, bro. No, it's not. You're doing a retaliation move. You know exactly. You know this is my car. I didn't know this is your Yes, car. you did know because you saw me get out, Fernandez. All right, do me a favor, stand on the side. I'm not doing it, bro. Is that a lawful order? It's a lawful order. Stand on the sidewalk. Okay, I'll stand on the sidewalk. Okay. If it's lawful, I'll stand on the sidewalk. Okay. Don't play no moves on me, bro. Don't play no moves on me. You know exactly what you're doing. I'm going to go file complaints on you. Okay. Go for this it. is a public easement, dude. Okay. Where does it say no parking here? You're parking against the this flow is traffic, a public sir. easement and plus this is a private property park against the flow of traffic no i'm not how am i parked against the flow of traffic moron how am i parked against the flow of traffic look at look 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 i want you to look it's on camera where am i parked in the flow of traffic where so let me get this straight, Joey. You knew you were in the wrong, but still you decide to have a little temper tantrum like a man child. Make it make sense, dude. If you are taking accountability, then why are you having this tantrum? I'm not signing no fucking ticket so you can stick it up your ass, dude. I swear to God, you're doing this because I'm recording you and I got on your ass, that's why. All right, why don't you go do something productive, dude? Go catch criminals. Do something, bro. Pull people over legally. Not parking tickets. You're a parking enforcer now? What's wrong with you, dog? What's wrong with you? Well, you call for a backup? Do I look intimidating to you? You call for a backup? For a parking ticket? Who is this guy over here? I just came real quick to ask a question and you're over here trying to freaking give me a retaliation move on my car, dude. Look, why don't you go get the ticket over there in that car? Look, 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 on that car. Huh? Why don't you give a ticket to that red car right there? Huh? I'm on a sidewalk. I'm gonna talk. That I'm gonna talk it, bro. You're a punk, bro. You're a punk, bro. That's what you are. What floor traffic, dude? 
Look, you're parked on traffic. Look, you're, look at you. Let me citate your ass. Let me get your ID, sir. Let me get your personal ID. Now you're on you know, your batch number and all that. I want to talk that. Tell me where's this sign, dude. Where's this sign say I can't park here, dude? A legal sign with a statue code on it. Like that. You see that sign over there, then red and white? You see that, right? And that's overnight. Tell me where's it. Tell me where is that. I'm fighting it. I'm going to court. Yes, sir. I'm going to go to court for a parking ticket because of your petty ass. That's why. Yes, sir. That's for your petty ass. That's why. You're punk, bro. Punk. Straight up punk ass, bro. You know exactly who I am. You saw me get off my car when I got here. Go take it the one in the red right there, bro. Look at that guy. And he's parked in a yellow zone. Look, he's parked in a yellow, whatever you call that, fire zone. I don't know what the he's, uh, he's parked in. Why don't you go ticket him? You ain't gonna ticket him? With your, little, with your little computer there. I'm on the sidewalk, I ain't gonna hurt you. Relax, bro, I'm just gonna talk that See what you're doing in that little computer, bro. See how that works, huh? Is this what you do? You feel great doing this? Yes, sir. Why? You feel great? Why is that? Answer the question. Why don't you give me your badge number, homie? I'm gonna give it to him in a piece of paper now. Nah, fuck that piece of paper. Go fuck about that shit. If you act straight, I won't get you. I won't start talking, to you, dude. Your homeboys are straight. Once you start acting like you're Arnold Schwarzenegger, you don't want to identify and that whack ass haircut. Who we'll give you a haircut, bro? I'm gonna get on your ass, dude. I'm gonna get on your ass while you ride my ticket. Yes, sir. I ain't gonna stop. Enjoy. I am enjoying it right now. My people are gonna enjoy see how much of a fool and petty you are. You know that, right? To move your vehicle, dude. This is not an emergency. I find it hilarious that they want to put everybody else's license plate on the internet but they always try to hide their own. You guys are such massive hypocritical douches. Like seriously, if you think it's okay to put someone else's license plate on the internet, you should have no issues showcasing your own license plate. It's a petty ass unlawful parking ticket. And you know it is. You know it is. Spirit check, bro. You don't deserve to have that right there at all, bro. At all. You might misuse that one day on somebody, bro, that you're not supposed to. You understand what I'm telling you? I know you hear me very clearly. This must be the worst parking ticket you, or earth ticket you've ever probably really? given in, in, in your whole career. Oh, right? Anybody's ever got on your ass like this? Nobody. Talk that shit. I'm on a sidewalk. It's called the First Amendment. Eat it. You sworn oath to it, homie. Eat it. Eat it, shit it out, eat it again. Eat your own shit. How's that? Punk. Filing a complaint right now. Okay. See if this is lawful or not. So fing signs here. What's wrong with you? We retaliation at its finest right here in America, dude. Sweetwater Police Department, Officer Fernandez, badge number. I don't know. What was that? Now you want to be professional, Mr. 369. I like the last two numbers. It's my favorite numbers, but I don't like your ass. You're a punk, bro. Punk. I'm gonna talk that. Punk. And this guy's over here, back in the blue, thinking I'm gonna harm somebody. Once you get back to work, Mister uh, Unmarked Vehicle Undercover Punk over there too. Is that your backup over there? Speak to your sergeant right now. Go ahead. I mean, I, I am. I am. I am. I'm gonna speak to him. How many tickets do you give here a day over here? Tell me, how many? None, because I'm recording you and I got an ass, that's why. Takes you that long to write a what? $25, $40 ticket? For the proper statue. Yeah, the proper statue. Yes, sir. The third, go, uh, go to TikTok, go to YouTube, Facebook, I'm going, you're going out everywhere, bro. You're gonna give me some views. People are gonna laugh at you, dude. Punk. Yo, retaliation to the finest, dude. Right here. Look where I'm at. I'm on a public easement. People park here all the time. 
And even if I couldn't park here, let's say I couldn't, right? Let's say I couldn't park here, right? You know damn well you're doing it for retaliation. You're a punk, bro. So about the retaliation, he very well could be. And I don't see anything wrong with that. If you are constantly harassing cops and trying to make their day miserable, I think it's just fair that they do the same thing to you. It's like these guys really love to dish it out, but they can't take it. That's what you are, punk, with that fake ass watch. Probably cost 12 bucks. Fugazi, Fugazi cop right there. You Fugazi, bro. Yeah, Fugazi. You never heard the Jay-Z album? Huh? Yeah, you're not about that life. You know Donnie Brasco? I know you've seen that movie. I know you've seen Donnie That's Brasco, you. homeboy. You. Yeah, you Fugazi, bro. You're just a piece of crap like that cheap-ass ring in the beginning. That's what you were, Fugazi. You were fake. You were fake to society. Fake. Fake, bro. You're not getting my ID. Don't ask me for my ID. Because if you are, just take me in right now. I'm not giving you shit. All right? Nothing. You're not violating none of my rights. You're already violating my car and you're violating my, uh, uh, my rights period on a ticket yeah. What happens if I leave right now? Is my car detained? What, what happens if I leave right now? Would that be fleeing and looting? I don't know. Hey, well, what would happen if I get in my car and I leave right now? No, you're not leaving. What? I'm detained? You're not leaving until I give you my ticket. Am I detained? You... <laughs> my car's detained? Yes, you did. My car, but not me? Yes. That's awesome. I never heard that in my life. Right. Just curious. That's it. Do your thing, bro. Go ahead. Do your thing, man. Do your thing, boy. This guy, dude. Fernandez is a joke, dude. Okay, so bet you do, I bet you don't even know what the meaning of Fugazi means. Guarantee you don't even know. <laughs> look, look, look at this. This is crazy, dude. This, this is what we have here, dude, in America. At least in this city, too. This guy. You got any bazookas in here, dude? Grenades, em empty bottles of whiskey, bro. Any of that shit in here, bro? You probably do. Yeah, I'm gonna get on that ass, bro. What's wrong with you? This guy's giving me the biggest retaliation parking unlawful ticket. You can ever imagine, dude. People park here all the time. Nobody's here right now because everybody's at work. But this is a joke, dude. Look, look how much traffic I'm interfering with, guys. Real quick, check it out. Look, check it out. Look, I'm interfering with traffic. Mad traffic coming over here. I'm over here parked. Hey, what, what, what lawful order that you have to back up that I, that I have to move over here? Okay. What lawful order is that? Kilo, zero, whiskey, tango, tango. Huh? What lawful order is that, bro? You just told me to move over here in a lawful order. What lawful? What law you have to back that up? Unless you want to get cited for, uh, cited for uh, what? Jaywalking? This is a residential street, dude. This is a residential street. Yeah. You just make up laws now? And residential neighborhood streets? That's not, that's bullshit, dude. You ain't citing me. Shit. Yeah, call for, call for whatever back of you calling quick here. Bro, you know that jaywalking it doesn't doesn't apply here. You know that, right? Know the law, dude. I can walk here all I want, back and forth, dude. You want to play that game? You want to go that route? Come on, bro. You stop it. Stop. You're already looking horrible. Stop it. Come on, dude. This 
This guy's a joke, dude. All right, we're gonna go get a super. I'm gonna go get your supervisor, dude. I'm gonna go get your supervisor right now. Go get your supervisor. I'm already here. I'm gonna go get your supervisor. You're a joke. Jaywalking. Bro, get out of my face with that. So that's pretty much it for the video. He went inside and acted like a total Karen and tried to file a bunch of complaints. The guy is basically a professional loser. It's so funny that back in the days, people would see people like that and they would say, well, that's an unemployed loser, all right. And now for some reason, some people view them as heroes and worship them and throw money at them. It's absolutely unreal the times we live in, but it is what it is. We're gonna keep doing our thing and exposing them and calling them out for the pathetic unemployed morons that they are. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications, and I'll see you guys on the next video. I live here!